Welcome back, philosophers. It is now Wednesday, and unfortunately, another partly cloudy day for you. But you're doing some important spiritual work. You see, the moon is in Scorpio for a second day in a row. That's transiting your house of really faith in yourself, your very private part of yourself, the part of yourself that deals with karma. It's your basement, subconscious issues. It's where dreams come in. It is the house of Pisces, which means that right now, the universe is trying to make conscious some subconscious emotions that you normally don't pay attention to. Now this can manifest in a lot of ways. Sometimes someone will just really piss you off and you'll realize they've done nothing wrong. It's you, something is being stepped on, there's an issue there, there's a pattern being tripped over. This is why I usually give a moody icon to people going through this transit. It is natural, it happens once a month, every month when the moon's in Scorpio for you. But what's interesting about it today is the moon is trining Venus. Now Venus is the planet of love and creativity. And although it's not a healing planet per se, love does heal. So it is creativity and thinking creatively outside the box to solve our problems. So with Venus trining the moon, which means a harmonious connection between the two planets, it means that Venus is going to give a little bit of a booster shot to your emotions today and really help you heal, especially as it relates to your faith in yourself and where you draw your boundaries. With Venus and Cancer this month, it's really been helping you to heal boundary issues. This can be really recalling some place in your past where people betrayed you, or even really just trying again. Maybe you haven't gotten back on that intimacy horse in a long time, but suddenly Venus is there giving you the courage and making you feel kind of loved and unconditionally supported by the universe. That's the great thing about Venus. So today, look for an opportunity, although you're a bit cloudy, to really do some healing on intimacy issues, particularly if that issue is tied to faith in yourself. Now the sun is in Gemini, changing topics, your opposite sign, and we're about to wrap up the first chapter of Sun and Gemini, which means, Sagittarius, you should know by now and today exactly what you do want to change in long-term relationships, and I wouldn't be too surprised if it was tied to those intimacy issues. All right, Sag, that's all we have for Wednesday. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. So